Today's very sad news, hello lovely viewers welcome to my channel. Please subscribe my channel. After getting married in April 2011, Kate, Princess of Wales, and her husband, Prince William, have risen through the ranks of the royal family. The Prince and Princess of Wales now only trail King Charles Ioe and Queen Camilla after assuming increasing formal responsibilities in recent years, with William set to succeed his father to the throne. The couple has received plaudits for their steadiness and compatibility, and they are frequently contrasted with the late Queen Elizabeth Dew and her husband Prince Philip, whose protracted love affair resulted in a 73-year marriage. Moreover, a royal authority claims that Evan William and Kate have proven to be a perfect match even in their most trying times. The Prince and Princess of Wales relationship was examined on an edition of Hello! Magazines, a proper royal podcast earlier this month by Robert Jobson, the author of William at 40. When the prince was stationed with the household cavalry in Dorset, and his then-girlfriend of four years stayed in London, the couple experienced a public breakup. When they did break up on a more serious level, William realized right away that he was utterly incorrect, the author wrote. He was most likely listening to outside voices or sources, and then perhaps he realized he'd made a terrible mistake and sought to get Camilla back after observing his father's early reluctance to marry or commit to her. In some ways, I believe Kate set forth requirements for how things should proceed. She wasn't going to be messed around, and, in doing so, showed her strength. The key to William and Kate's enduring passion, according to Mr. Jobson, is the friendship that exists beneath their marriage. He continued, You only have to look at the way they look at one other to see they are very much in love. She's a real asset to William and the royal family as a whole, in my opinion. Both the prince and princess have publicly admitted their breakup, with William stating that at the time they were trying to find their own way. He stated, that was only a bit of room during the couple's engagement interview in 2010. The outcome was for the better. At the time of the breakup, Kate acknowledged she wasn't very happy about it, but she has since realized it was for the best. At the time, I wasn't too happy about it, but in reality, it made me a stronger person, she said. You learn stuff about yourself that you may not have known before. I think you can get fairly consumed by a relationship when you're younger. Despite not realizing it at the time, I actually appreciated that time for myself. While Kate later admitted to having difficulty during the breakup, the 25-year-old did not display it at the time. Instead, she packed her social calendar with activities, while remaining silent about her romance with the heir to the throne. According to another royal specialist, Kate's handling of the 2007 separation helped her gain favor with the firm. Kate's stoicism throughout her breakup with William, according to Kinsey Schofield, founder and creator of Toadie4Daily.com, made her a no-brainer for the position of future queen. Kate was, she remarked, given that Kate, despite being the commoner, had been with William for such a long time, it was probably a foregone conclusion. Because she was so stoic and kept her mouth shut between breakups, and because she always looks ahead in photos of her throughout breakups, the royal family was aware that she was a decent girl and that she wasn't speaking to the public. She just handled herself so well throughout the emotional roller coaster that was her and Prince William's courtship leading up to their unavoidable marriage, Ms. Schofield continued. It became obvious that Kate would become the next monarch. The pair. They separated for around 10 weeks before getting back together in the summer of 2007, the moment Kate and the British people had been waiting for arrived three years later when William proposed to his longtime girlfriend. William and Kate have had three children since their opulent wedding over 12 years ago. Prince George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 7, and Prince Louis, 4. The couple and their children are now dubbed the future of the monarchy with the prospects of a modern royal family riding on their shoulders. Their union was actually very significant because Kate, who was born in, although she is distantly connected to William, the woman who read to Carol and Michael Middleton, was a commoner with no connections to the nobility. Mr. Jobson acknowledged the significant role the Middleton family has played in the prince and princess's relationship, noting Carol and Michael have provided stability for the future king and queen. The Prince of Wales is undoubtedly quite busy, and he has had a different type of father, there is no doubt about that, but I believe Catherine's parents have been some of the most significant individuals in both their lives, and he learned how challenging it is to balance. 
He is now a family guy and the Prince of Wales. I think Michael and Carol have been tremendously significant in William's life, particularly after losing his mother in his teenage years. And I believe that he actually views her Carol as a second mother, and he has access to both Michael and her. And during that loss, he continued, I believe that when they separated up, he, William, realized he was losing a lot more than just Catherine. He was losing something that was extremely important to him. And he realized how alone that left him, and he didn't like it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Royal Update, and stay with us.